I got a scoop of the jambalaya. Dave, you got a scoop of the gumbo. Oh, mm. man. Oh. Oh! A gum! <laughs> That yeah. is hearty. What's going on, everybody? In the past several years, the food truck craze has absolutely exploded across America. Food trucks are serving unique dishes. They're serving food off the street. They're popping up at events. It's just a completely different experience than eating at an actual restaurant. But how many of you guys actually know how the food truck system works? Today in this video, we're gonna be covering some unique dishes, but also we're gonna be giving you the inside scoop on a real LA food truck and even how to start one. This is a special episode of Fung Bros Food, Food, food truck, truck 101. What's going on? We're here with Leon and the owners of the Keep, Keep It Cajun, Cajun Food Truck. Truck. All right, Leon, you guys serve authentic Cajun food with an Asian twist. Explain that real quick. We learned the secret recipe from a New Orleans chef. Big ups to Jamil's Big and Easy. We are Asian from LA. Just want to put a little twist into the authentic Cajun food that we serve. All right, so right now we're about to hop on the Keep It Cajun Food Truck and we're going to go through the steps real quick on how to start one. This is good stuff, guys. Pay attention. It might inspire you to start a food truck yourself. Number one, the most important is get your finances, develop your business plan. Well, I feel like one of the first costs that people see is the truck itself. Absolutely. Now, do you have to buy a truck? Can you lease a truck? You can go both ways. You can lease or own a truck, uh, just like a car, right? But one thing about leasing is it comes as is. It doesn't customize to uh, the kind of food that you want to serve. And number three, you want to find a very reliable truck builder that can finish and complete your project on time. Like a general contractor. Absolutely. For your house. You got the money, you bought the truck, you got the truck built out, now what? The next step was really developing the menu. After we developed our menu, we want to get some genuine answers from our family and friends, have tasting parties. Step number six, make sure you apply and obtain all the necessary permits and licensing and all the things that you need to handle the food. Number seven, you want to find a commissary that's really convenient, close to you and your employees. Next step is you really want to get in touch with the food truck organizations. Uh, these are the people that will give you all the guidance, best practices, and also help you put you in uh, certain events and locations. Point number nine, you want to make sure you're on all the social media platforms to kind of spread the word. Uh, it's, it's the best marketing form you can get. Last and final, this is the most important piece really besides the food, is the people. You got to find the right people to work for you, work with you, grow with you. All right, so I thought that was really helpful and very informative for a lot of people. But right now, I think we got to start cooking some food and eating some food. Let's go. So this is our ticketing system right here when we take an order from the, from the front. You want to work your order from here down to here. We've got about 15 tickets here at a time and any more than that, that means we're too swamped. We've got to kick out the food and take care of the customers first. Okay, so we are parked here at Monterey Park. We are going to try every single food item on the Cajun food truck. We got Kevin Yang, aka 626 Eddie Huang from Gui Lin. <laughs> now, I got gumbo. It's got some soup, some rice, there's some chicken, sausage. We kept it 100% Cajun. That is so good right now, man. It's, it's warm in my soul. I got a jambalaya. Most people can probably just consider this like a dry version of gumbo. It's really rice with sausages. It's a traditional dish from the South. Yo. Yeah. That's good, man. And we've got Cajun fries. Cajun right. fries. With a special sauce. Go. This sauce is mm. so one of a kind. We call it the secret sauce. I got a scoop of the jambalaya. Dave, you got a scoop of the gumbo. I'm gonna mix it. This is gumbalaya. Gumbalaya. Oh, mm. man. Mm. Woo! Oh! <laughs> a gum! That yeah. is hearty. It doesn't necessarily look like this food you see on IG, but trust me, it tastes better than the food on IG. Because the prettiest things aren't always the tastiest. <laughs> Taiwanese popcorn chicken po' boy. This is the fusion between a New Orleans po' boy, which is a sandwich from New Orleans. I'm about to Guy Fieri this right now. <laughs> Guy Fieri, oh! Oh! Waylon's in the house! The chicken definitely like encourages the bread. See, the chicken encourages oh, the bread. <laughs> Yo, that popcorn chicken was fresh, it was juicy, the bread was actually really soft, the flavors were banging. Crawfish, Crawfish poutine. poutine! Really, we got fries underneath we can, with some cheese and etouffee sauce and uh, some secret in ingredients. For those of you who don't know, poutine is a style of fries. It really came from Canada. It's like gravy smothered fries. Get it! I love spicy fries. Like, man, that is hitting on all different levels. This is like kind of smooth with the cheese and the spice and the fries and. Yo, Kevin, what do you think, man? This is your first time having Cajun food. Something like uh, hidden French fries crouching crawfish, man. Oh! <laughs> hidden French fries crouching crawfish. You trying to be Eddie Huang right now? Or what? <laughs> Cajun food, Asian drinks, perfect to chase down the spice. 
I'm ready for more. Blackened shrimp in a scallion pancake. Kind of like a po' boy, except you replace the bread with the Chinese scallion pancake. Yes, sir. This is absolutely 100% fusion right Yo. here. Whoa, damn. I mean, this scallion pancake is not as floury or fluffy. It's more crispy, yep. chewy, <laughs> and this is spicy. It's got shrimp. This is one of my favorite things so Thanks, far, man. man. Thanks, I'm man. feeling this a lot. Traditional catfish and chips, Nolan style. I can taste the quality, and we're not even done yet. Cajun egg rolls. Black eyed peas mashed with some uh, seasoned pork and crawfish in there. With Both. the gator sauce. Mm. Typical That's egg roll has cheese. cabbage in it. Right. And uh, for me, I've never been a huge fan of that. I definitely think the future of egg rolls, in my opinion, is moving away from cabbage. Real quick, we got the hush puppies and the fried okra. Hush puppy is really just um, a, a fried um, cornbread. Never had one before. Here you go. Crunchy, and then like you chew it, and then it's soft. The okra is, it's just a type of vegetable that uh, Southern people like to fry it, and it's amazing. Okra kind of has like this mushy taste to it, but it's always, it tastes really good fried. Blackened chicken etouffee. Like a Southern gravy curry mixed with rice. Cajun curry. Etu flames. <laughs> Yo, we got ham cooked overnight in these red beans, and jambalaya. that's jambalaya right there. Oh man, go to town. Mm. <laughs> that catfish is cooked to perfection, bro. This blackened catfish took me to the south again, man. We have arrived at dessert. Here we are eating Southern classics, two different styles of bread pudding right here. What is bread pudding? It's a dessert that's made out of bread and fruits. Old one, mm. some people call this like an ice cream, some people call this like Cinnabon. between Cinnabon and churros all put together. Yo. I will say this about this warm one. Yeah. The outside is warm and crispy, but the inside's mm -hmm. still actually a little cool. Mm -hmm. So it got best of both worlds. Yeah. Leon, Ellie, I gotta be honest, I was blown away by the quality on the Keep Occasion food truck. That was excellent. Everything was done with a really high quality. Just wanna let everyone know out there who wanna start their own business, food, or any other industry, just persevere through it. Uh, you're gonna have your tough times, but you do see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode. Shout out to the Cajun food truck out here in LA. Number one, make sure you let us know what you think about Cajun food and if you've had any of the dishes that we just showed you today. Number two, in the comments below, let us know if there's any other fusion foods off a food truck or at a restaurant that you think we should check out. And number three, make sure you like and share this with any of your friends who are in the LA area or just need to check out something like this. All right, everybody, thank you for watching that video. Yo, the food was crazy. It was so delicious, but until next, Next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Leon, Ellie, thank you so much for giving us the insight into the food truck world. Uh, let them know where you can find the truck. Well, you can follow us on Twitter, IG, and Facebook at keepoccasion.com. Shout out to Jamil Big Easy up in Seattle doing your big thing. Thank you, sir. Find us all over LA area. We're also available for catering. And thank you for everybody for all the support.